Hi, this is Boopin the Tube. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how you could reset your Amazon Fire Kindle. Why it's important to reset your Kindle is because sometimes some errors that you get in your Kindle can be resolved by resetting your Kindle, which I've done once before and it resolved me downloading apps. So it's important to know how to reset your Kindle and I'm gonna show you in this video. Let's start. In order to do that, we need to go to the settings. So you go to settings, you go to device options. In the device option, you see a place called backup and restore. So you have two options here to save Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon so that Amazon will remember your Wi-Fi password so that it would automatically connect after it resetted its device or when you buy a new device from Amazon it would automatically remember such as Amazon Echo but I would strongly recommend you to back up your data to back up all the information on your Kindle such as files on this device settings network bookmarks install apps so all you need to do is this select here now it should back up everything it might take some time for it please note that it says backup runs automatically once a week when the device is on standby and connected to wi-fi so make sure your wi-fi is on and this might take as it says at least one week for it to back up so you might have to come back to the next step a week later unfortunately there is nowhere that tells me how many backups it has and whether it already has backed up so i suggest you to at least leave your device for two weeks to make sure everything is backed up i also suggest you to sign in into different applications you got and make sure those applications are linked with an online account once you're sure everything you got is backed up and if things after resetting the kindle wouldn't come back you still have them somewhere stored such as your photos music pictures anything please keep them safe the next step would be the factory reset which would erase almost everything so when you come back here to device options you select reset to factory defaults you can read the message here it's self-explanatory it would erase all your information so be sure you got it back up i can't emphasize enough on that then you just select reset so to set up our fire we need to select the country choose your language english united states i'm okay with that you can select the size of the text touch continue now you need to select your wi-fi after you touch connect you need to register your fire by entering your amazon email id or mobile number and amazon password once you enter them then touch continue if you don't have you have to create a new one and then touch continue now it's checking for the saved backups so it's up to you to turn them on or off but um, i let them to be on because some of the application that they use they require this uh, location they need wi-fi and other things to verify you as the person such as downloading an app but you can try it without it but i will try with it so then continue gives you some tutorial somebody forces you to watch that video but again it wants to tell you that how useful alexa can be and i think it is useful i got amazon echo which i use it very regularly almost every day so on this device also i would enable alexa you can create a child profile i don't need that not now not no thanks not now not now so here it is our alexa has been reset it i hope now you learned how to reset your kindle if you did please don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video thanks for watching bye bye